What's up everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a deep Emma Piano beat in Apple Studio. So I'm going to show you how to create an amazing log drum, I'm going to add some chords, I'm going to try to create something unique when it comes to the drums. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by layering two shaker loops. So I'm going to drag in this very very generic one. And let's add this one, which sounds very original. So this is an easy trick how to just make your drum loop sound better. So layering multiple elements is key. And I'm adjusting the BPM to 113. So just adjust the volumes, that's it. So for this beat, I first want to start off with some simple chords and then I'm going to add the drums. So I'm going to use one of my favorite plugins, which is the Stage 73 version 2. And just let's use the clean mark and we'll edit the preset later on. So I'm gonna create this beat, let's say a more dark scale. So I'm gonna pick B minor. So let's start off by drawing in the first chord. So let's adjust the velocity control. So this is the first chord, then let's add the root note. So let's pick A. So that's it. So I'm gonna copy it. Let's add the next chord. So now let's make it a little bit more interesting. So we're going to pick a note which is in between this chord. So this is the next available option, which is E. And then, then let's add the next notes. So the chord progression right now is very, very simple. So right now I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So we're adding some more details to the scope progression. So I'm going to pick the slice tool. Let's create this rhythm. Oh, that's it. And of course we have to tweak it. So dragging this one. I'm going to apply the exact same structure to those chords. So I'm adjusting this chord like this. And let's switch it up right here. And I'm just seeing those ones. Try to create something unique. So it still isn't sounding right. So I'm going to apply the final tweaks. So I think that this is it. I've played around with the velocity of the individual notes. So for example, select this one and then scroll up and down to adjust the presence of the specific note. So let's have a listen. That sounds really, really cool. So this will be the foundation for this beat. So right now let's add multiple layers. So first I'm going to start off with more drops. So first I'm going to just add better one to the arrangement. So let's add this kick and then we're going to add a simple uh, piano four by four rhythm like this. Then let's add some percussions. So that's the first layer. So Let's just drag in some random elements from the kit. So just some simple percussions. So let's add this steel percussion. So now let's add some rims. So I've been adding more and more percussions. So we've added a anvil, bell, and this bongo. So now let's add the next elements. And there's some more groove by adding those tiny details. And of course you want to add some more high percussions to the drum loop by using this clave. And of course we have to adjust the volume. So I'm just drawing it in at random right now. So right now I'm gonna add some percussions which contain some more mid frequencies. As you can hear, it already adds a lot of groove to the drum loop. Very unique one. And let's add the final djembe. So 
So we've added a lot of drum layers. It still is missing something on the first kick, for example. Very, very groovy. And last but not least, still missing some high frequency. So let's add a shaker. Following the main rhythm. So for now, let's link all these elements to the mixer. So I'm gonna mix those elements by just adjusting the levels. Making sure no elements are just so loud. So something like this, don't make it too complicated, just adjust the levels and then move on to the next element. So usually in Emma Piano, a pad is used. So I'm gonna use the X-Pen 2. So I'm gonna search for a soft pad. So let's see, soft pads, Minesweeper. So adjust the cutoff filter. So let's pick two notes, E and G for example. Just a color filter. So right now, just add some swing and then let's remove the high frequencies from this pad. Just in the volume. So we're making sure this element is in the background. So right now I want to add another vocal sample. So let's use Arcade. So I found this Mindset Preset Bank. This one sounds really cool. So I found this one at C6. Oh. So we definitely have to add some more effects to this layer. So I'm adding this Kickstarter 2 and let's add some reverb. That's it. I'm just gonna clone this one and add this one. Oh! So very groovy vocal effect layer. So now let's add a very basic solid. So let's use the Matrix 12. So I found this one. So I think this is a very good fit. So now I want to add another saw. So let's use the Gorok MS-20. So let's replace the previous one. I'm gonna use the classic saw lead. So let's, so let's add some more brightness to this one. And then I'm gonna create a simple ARP. So something like this. Maybe shorten down these ones. So for just a the A to G. So I think that's it when it comes to adding the melody layer. So right now let's add the log drum. So I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10 and I want to pick a log drum which contains a lot of power. So not a very soft log drum. So this one I think sounds perfect. And now I'm just going to copy the rudeness from the cop aggression, place it right here, and then just drum the volume all the way. But as you can hear, it's missing some low frequency. So I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10 again, and I'm going to add the sine wave preset. So open up the presets, sine base this one, and then I'm gonna copy this one, paste it into this one. Oh. So that sounds really cool, adding a lot of low frequencies. So I'm gonna link those to the mixer. And on the log drum, I'm going to add some saturation. So I'm gonna add the Saturn 2, warm tape over 50%. For the sign base, I'm gonna add the exact same effect. Oh, that sounds really cool. So 
right now I've created all the basics when it comes to this beat. So right now I'm going to create the arrangement. And if you're interested in the sounds which I've used for this tutorial, make sure to check out the Emma Piano Paradise Drum Kit. So there is also a free preview available which you can download for free on my website. So make sure to check it out. So I've just added a second log drum pattern which goes like this. That's the main part of this beat, but I've also added some more drum loops. So just those ones. You just add some more rhythm. And right here I've added this build up transition, which is a sine bass, which is playing this note. Basic rhythm. So those are the main adjustments which I've made to this beat. So for now, let's have a listen to the final arrangement. Just a few elements of playing. Try to keep it original. Add a drum roll. The focus sample is just fire. And some side chaining to the saw. Really like this part. I've automated this saw right here using the cut of frequency filter. So that's it for this video. So make sure to download this free MVP. The link will be in the description. Also make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day, create some awesome music and see you in the next tutorial.